Hi, I'm Sandra, the creator at Sing Play Create, and I'm so glad to see you here today. I have some quick and easy, no prep, holiday music class activities that you can use in your elementary music classroom, preschool, music class, movement activities, and of course, you can do this at home. So keep watching to get the three quick and easy music class activities. Sing Play Create. What's this? I took a jingle bell and I tied a scarf on it. And now when we do the movement activity with the bells and the scarf, we're going to make sound as well as move our bodies. And I know that the kids are going to love this because it's two things and I haven't done it before. And I'm telling you, my students are so excited. Just when I make a small little change like this, they're going to see the jingle bell. They're going to see the scarf. I'll have those out laying like this, ready for them to go. And then I'll teach them the patterns. Then we'll pick them up and do the activity. I'm going to use the bell and the scarf in a nutcracker movement activity using the music tray pack. So I'm going to give some actions to the patterns and then you can look at them here on the screen so you know what I'm talking about. So in the pattern, the first four beat pattern that I use is ta, ta, ti, ti, ta. So we're going to say the ta is just going to be down, down down and then the TT is going to be sideways so it's going to be down down TT down 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 TT down 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 side side down Lock. then the second one is four beats on the steady beat and instead of just going down I'm going to have them do a crisscross now the reason I like to do multiple types of moves is because I'm trying to help them with their cross body movement, eye to hand coordination, and all those other good things in this movement activity. We're just not moving to move, we're moving with a purpose. So the next four beat pattern is going to be crisscross. Ta, 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 ta. There's numbers of times we repeat these patterns of the song, but for right now, I'm just teaching you the different moves. So first, First pattern is down, down, swish, swish, down, down, and then it's steady beat. One, two, three, four, and that's going to repeat. Then we get to some half notes. So for the half notes, I'm going to have them swirl, swirl, swirl. Those will be one swirl for each half note. And then when we have the rest with the quarter notes, we'll go down, down, and overhead. So down, down, overhead is the rest. It's a half rest, half note rest. Woo. So when I be teaching this, of course, I do it much slower. I'm just giving you the ideas for the movement. And then you can use the presentation to teach them to move slower, have them practice each one before you turn on the music. The way I teach it, I would pause the music and do each little four beat pattern to make sure they got it. And then we would try and put it together. So it, it could actually take almost a whole class time to do this, just depending on your students. Some of your older ones will get it faster. But if you're working with young younger children, like four and five years old, you might wanna just teach them one of these patterns to do for the whole song the first time. So the one that I like would be the down, down, do, down, down, swish, down, down, swish. You could have them do that for a good section of the song and then over time teach them the different patterns that they would really like. So that's how I break down teaching the patterns. I don't like to throw everything at them at once. I like to show them the steps I also feel like that helps them overall as learners. They learn how to put the music together and how the composer put the music together. All right, so that is all of the patterns for Trey Pack scarf movement activity. Let's get on to the second thing you can do with this music. 
This is the second activity that I've created that you can do with the tray pack music from the Nutcracker Suite. Now, I love this song. I love, love, love it. And there's actually a whole bunch of different things I do with this music. I just love it. I love it. I love it. <laughs> so, and I, the kids love it. I think that's why I like it. So the second way that you can do this is with some easy body percussion. So remember I broke down the quarter notes into two different things we're going to do. I'm going to do the same thing with the body percussion. And as you do it, you'll see why I do it that way. So the first four beat pattern is going to be pat on quarter notes and clap on eighth notes. So it's and I'm going a long way because my video's cut right here. So you can see it's pat, pat, pat. All right, so that's the first four beats and that pattern repeats with the steady beat pattern a total of four times. So then we have the steady beat. So instead of patting, then I'm gonna have a march to one, two, three, four. And I really like them to engage their arms, engage their whole body, teach them how to march, show them, model, and then be looking at your students to see who's doing a really good job being a marching soldier, and then point them out and say, oh, look, Joaquin is doing such a great job marching like a soldier. Let's all copy Joaquin. March, 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 march. And just do that with a couple students and they'll all get into it. It really helps them. You're teaching them a different way than just telling them that you want them to march. You're showing them and you're showing them in several ways. And that's a really good teaching method. Make sure your students are having a couple different ways to learn one thing. So now we have the first pattern, which is pat, pat, clap, clap, pat, march, 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 march and the order is on the slide. You can see how we'll put it together. All right, then the next thing is the half notes. And so for the half notes, we're gonna jump. Jump, jump. And on the rest, we're gonna freeze. Okay, they can do a ballerina. You could choose some things. You might wanna have them freeze like a soldier. They can freeze like a ballerina. You could choose things from the Nutcracker to have them freeze as. That's an option and that'll work really great with this song, with this music too. Okay, are you ready for activity number three? This one's really fun. It's very interactive with your students and you can change it. Like you could do this anytime. Different holidays, different themes, each composers. There's lots of different ways. You're gonna love this activity because you can do it with so many different things. And I like it because it really gets the kids involved with what we're doing and makes them part of the process of learning. So I just, uh, it's a movement activity. We're gonna choose characters that we wanna use in this game. And I chose four characters. I chose Santa, who's gonna be the big fat belly. And then we're gonna have Rudolph, who's gonna have long floppy ears and then we're gonna have the elf who's like sick of making presents and then we're gonna have a snowman with his round body and hands on his waist you can use these ideas that i'm giving you in this video but you can have the students choose their own characters it could be disney characters it could be characters from a musical it could be characters from a book that you've read to them the gingerbread man. There's lots of ways to use this. And then each of those characters represents a different action. Now, when we play the game, all you're gonna do, or the leader does, is show this thing that we just did. The Santa, the Rudolph, the elf, or the snowman. The students have to remember what action goes with the character. So let's just say, for example, Santa means to jump, okay? And Rudolph means to tiptoe. And then the elf means to kick. <laughs> and then the snowman means to sidestep. 
and move both your feet side to side. Then we practice those actions. Make sure they get it. So do a silent test. So what's nice, also nice about this game is you don't have to talk. You can do the You can't do it that fast during the music. Then you turn on your favorite holiday music. I'm sure you all have a playlist of that. And then I do at least like 16 beats or 10 to 20 seconds for each move. Don't do too fast until they really get the hang of it. Now you can choose to have the kids that do the wrong act and sit down. I don't do that, I just keep going. If I did this with third or fourth grade, I would very quickly have the students become the leaders. And I would step out and just walk around and do the management. And it's kind of like tag and you can say to them, now we're gonna have you choose the person that's really following and doing the very best job or a great job remembering what the actions are. So that's something just to remember. I also find these kind of games help a lot with classroom management because the students are really driving the activity and they're watching each other and they're helping and then you can be free to walk around and mingle and help as needed with what's going on in your classroom. That's the third activity. Uh, you can play it with any music. It's easy to do. You can do it anytime. It's a good little break or transition in between other activities. Thanks so much for watching the video today. All you need to do is go to singplaycreate.com. You can download these free resources to use in your classroom today. Happy holidays and let's keep kids moving and learning with music.